Uh, my name is Ian Gomez, and I'm part of the writer team. So it is my first month with Rider, so be easy on me. Um, so Rider is a generative AI platform uh, built for teams and the enterprise. Uh, we partner with over 150 brands. Um, we're a Series A company based here in San Francisco, so just down the street on Union Square. Um, we really help companies accelerate their content production by streamlining their uh, brand voice. So here are a few of our customers. Um, you know, uh, with Victoria's Secret, we've helped them optimize their performance with their content. Uh, my favorite use case is Sixth Sense. Uh, we actually help them uh, refresh blogs, 100 blogs in 100 minutes. Uh, so Writer is an end-to-end -end AI platform. Um, it starts with a foundational LLM trained on business writing, and nothing you do gets into this foundational model. Um, then you could augment that with a company knowledge graph, uh, sorry, knowledge graph with a knowledge base to get the facts right and use your up-to-date company information. And my favorite tool actually is gonna be the, the, the 25 different templates. Um, so there's templates like, you know, you, there's a blog creator or like a recaps tool that helps you recap um, different types of webinars, videos, conversations uh, into an easily digestible content form. And finally, we make it available everywhere. So there's a Chrome extension, uh, Word, Outlook, Figma, and uh, different APIs that connect to your workflow. So we also have uh, an open source um, uh, family of uh, open source models called Palmyra. Also, we have a ton of models that stack up against industry standards. Um, you could take note of the smaller parameter size, which allows you to host them without specialized hardware. Um, these are all open source and on Hugging Face. And um, kind of why we chose MindCB, uh, it's, it has a seamless integration capabilities, uh, simple SQL interface, and commitment to open source. And then Patricio will do the demo for us. It's actually pretty brief, um, but I think it highlights some, uh, something that people asked in the first session, I think, which is um, how do you actually stay on, on premise if, if you want to deploy large language models um, that are like uh, the ones from Writer, perhaps smaller um, compared to the typical ones. And, um, and yeah, so this use case is a, again, an example of an ML engine that has been uh, written by one of our um, ML engineers that actually uses uh, dashes of, um, of Langchain. And um, it also uses, in particular, I think, ChromaDB for, for indexing uh, embeddings out of a source of truth. So um, in this case, well, I mean, I already have uh, an ML engine created here, but you would normally just specify, because this is a new ML uh, sort of uh, integration that does not come by default, you just integrate it into, into the MindCB runtime by creating it like this, perhaps uh, giving additional parameters through the using syntax. And then um, I just have a very simple view here with a bunch of documents that have to do with um, uh, essentially drugs and uh, some of the properties that they have. I'm not really familiar with it. I do know it's a sparse data set and it has a bunch of uh, indications, uh, secondary effects and so on for, for a bunch of them. So in this case, I've only, uh, I have a very fer fairly small view of 50 records to keep it simple. And the model creation in this case, uh, we're using the writer integration um, we're specifying a bunch of different parameters. So in this case, we're actually uh, getting embeddings. And for, for this, we're using a hugging phase model. Uh, you can really, as of today, it's early days on this integration in particular, but you can use any, um, yeah, so any sentence transformer uh, that is supported by their library. In this case, it's an MPNet uh, base B2 model. And it's a very simple prompt template. Here you can get really creative, of course, as we've seen before, but um, you're essentially um, generating embeddings out of the data, then you're getting the top matches with some distance function, and then you pass that over to writer's LLMs. So it's a really neat piece of uh, just integrating uh, technologies from all over the place. And um, yeah, creating the model is perhaps a bit uh, too much for the demo. It's going to take a while uh, because it has to actually download the model uh, generate the embeddings, store them, but I do have one that's pre-trained. 
and you can do stuff like you know what can I like just pass a question what can I do to to relieve the symptoms of this disease and it's going to um, give you uh, an, an answer that should have some references um, so like this one right it has um, references that come directly from the data set um, so let me actually do select star because I'm not seeing what I should be seeing here. Right, so in the source document section, uh, you can get so, sort of a nested structure that can be unnested with um, um, some of the facilities we have for, for SQL syntax. But um, you can sort of go back to the source of truth for what the model is saying. And um, yeah, so this is, unlocks everything that Writer is doing. Um, and it has a few interesting additional uh, developments in terms of ML integrations for, for MySDB. So yeah, really short demo, um, but I hope it gives you a, a taste of, uh, of the, the partnership between MySDB and, and Writer. So yeah, that's me. I'm not sure if you have anything else. Uh, that's it? OK, so um, yeah, <laughs> that's everything. Thank you very much.